I, I found out that fucking Iron Giant and LeBron James is actually a pretty fucking nasty combo. <laughs> Because oh, LeBron geez. James can, he can pass the ball to like his teammates, but because Iron Giant is so fucking huge, it is like damn near impossible to miss him. And like whenever you throw the ball after it gets passed, it does more damage. So it's just like, all right, yeah, just throw the ball somewhat on the right side of the screen and I'll catch it. You know, it's weird <laughs> to hear this sentence out loud. <laughs> It's weird though, because I haven't seen a lot of LeBrons online. I haven't seen a lot of Iron Giants online either. I think the I think the thing is like people just don't pick Iron Giant because they're like, oh, he's huge, so that means he's combo bait. Well, we and got he is. this recent patch. I mean, has he? Because yeah. I've been beating wholesale ass with Iron with, with fucking Iron Giant ever since so, I picked him up. They nerfed his down air, which you can't multi hit into itself, and they nerfed his up air, which you can't multi hit into itself either. They did something else, and I can't remember. I mean, like, well, the the, the up air is not even that big of a deal. The up air or the down air isn't really that big of a deal because you can just you can just chain them together. You can just be like down, 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 up, 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 and like down air to up air is actually a fucking pretty mean combo, all things considered. Or but like, yeah, I've, I've heard like, so far everybody that I've talked to has said Iron Giant is like, a bad pick. And I've certainly seen bad matchups against him, but like, the thing is, I don't know if I've just figured out like, the optimal way to play him or whatever, but like, ever since I picked up Iron Giant, I've just been beating wholesale ass and fucking... In, in online matches. Like, I've just been fucking stomping people. I get, like, over 400 damage per match, like, consistently. It's fucking insane. Let's be real. In Smash, Ganondorf is super dinky poo-poo dog shit, but it does not stop people <laughs> playing that character. I think the thing is, because multiverses is typically played, like, they, they really encourage it to be, like, a team experience, so you're meant to be playing with another person. The thing yeah. is, people, like, discount Iron Giant because... Like, 1v1, he's probably not that good of a character, but in a team, like, where you got somebody else that's also doing some work, he, like, he can just pull off some really fucking crazy kills out of nowhere. Okay, so <laughs> his, yeah, it was his air down attack where it can't combo into itself, his air slash ground down special can't repeatedly unlock opponents. Well, his forward air again. still repeatedly attacks. His forward yeah. air is probably, like, probably has like some of the most chain hit damage that I've seen because like that shit will hit like five times in a row it doesn't matter how much armor you have like he'll like if you get hit with the forward air you'll fucking lose all of your armor have you been watching like people stream multiverses no so like fucking I'm watching the number one like Tom and Jerry player that man is <laughs> insane holy shit also, I love how Tom and Jerry is animated, so, like, it's not even they're directly attacking other people. They're just trying yeah. to kill each other, and so everybody funny. else just kind of gets in the way. It's so fucking clever. Like, even like even them moving around is, like, Tom chasing Jerry around, and I think that's funny. That's, that's I did find that's out. Beautiful. I didn't know this until, but, like, yesterday. But Rick and Morty aren't, like, the same character. They're two separate characters. Oh, they're two separate characters? I thought they were going to be a combo character. Like That's what I here. thought, and then so, I went to the actual <clears throat> website to look it up, and no, R Morty's going to be a brawler, and Rick is going to be like a uh, ranged fighter. So from what I'm gathering, uh, makes sense. from what I'm gathering with Multiverse, it's it's a series of Warner Brother characters, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you've got like Batman, Superman, Steven Universe, uh, Finn and Jake. You got like a bunch of, you got like a bunch of different characters and then um and like this is the thing outside rivals of aether i this is probably the best smash clone in a very long time this is yeah on our unironically it's probably one of like the better like platform fighting games that i've seen in a fucking hot minute mm -hmm. and like one of the reasons is because they actually do have voice lines, and the voice lines are contextual. So, like, you, I, you load up a match, like, you're playing Iron Giant, and you've got Superman, and you're like, alright, and you hear Superman go like, alright, big guy, you're with me, or like, some shit like that. 
but like you don't really hear that in any of the other Smash clones, or even in Smash itself. Like, because yeah. you can you can pick two characters from the same franchise. Like, you can pick like two Fire Emblem characters out of like the fucking twenty seven that they have, but their voice lines are always the exact same every time. But like, I remember like one of the more notable ones is I was playing Iron Giant, obviously, and somebody my teammate was playing Garnet, and they're like, "Hello, big robot, let's start punching things." <laughs> like that's that's like the thing. Nintendo, and it's nice. Like, so I'm part of the Smash competitive scene, and Jesus Christ, I could go on days on how much Nintendo hates Smash. They hate oh, yeah. that game of all their heart, and it blows my mind. Why? Oh man! All right, it's a lot of, I imagine too. it's probably a lot of legal legwork. No, it's yeah. not that. It's because. The big problem about it is Smash wants to be like wants to be in the same level as like Capcom doing Street Fighter or like Mortal Kombat. It, like the because the companies actually like make give out tournaments and put in big prize support. Meanwhile, Nintendo is like, yeah, we'll host this online tournament with our shitty online service, and the grand prize will be a five dollar Nintendo eShop gift card. Really? Oh, gee. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. yeah. Bruh. And then like, and here. Oh, okay. So, Nintendo for the longest time just refuses to part, like part, even like be compared or like being be a part of a Smash community because, like I said, we are trying to be competitive. We want to be competitive. We want to be a part of something. They don't want us to. So back in two thousand and fourteen, I think there was Project M. Project M yeah. is a modified version of uh, Brawl, of which Nailed. basically, yeah. Oh no, it, so, is, it is Brawl. It is, yeah. yeah. So it's 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 Smash Brothers Brawl with melee mechanics and all that shit. And extra so back, characters and shit. Yeah, and back in 2014, Nintendo was like, man, we really want to support y'all, but, like, you have Project M going around. We don't feel comfortable Ow, supporting Jesus. a mod game. Not even a week after, they come, uh, tournament providers started dropping Project M. You we won't show it on streams or anything because they want to look good for Nintendo. And Nintendo's like, oh, yeah, no, we're just kidding. Oh, like Nintendo I... loves to like dick around this Magic community. It's ah, it's Jesus. honestly kind of sad. Yeah. And, and pretty much isn't Smash like no longer a part of Evo too. That's why That's... like a lot of the times whenever you see like big Smash tournaments, they're never actually sponsored by Nintendo, even though yeah. they very easily could be. They're always like it's always like on an individual basis or like an, a completely yeah. independent nope. entity that's hosting it because they. They see the potential in Smash. Oh, it gets better. Actually, speaking of um, Panda Global, which I don't know if y'all know any competitive esport teams, but Panda Global was one of the biggest Smash Brothers uh, teams. Just maybe a few months ago, they announced doing a circuit cooperating with Nintendo. I put air quotes with. So Panda, uh, basically, there's a whole bunch of tournaments, and if you do good at each of these tournaments, you get qualified for the, for the big tournament. And, uh, hold on, let me find the, so I can actually not ad-lib what the tournament thing says. Because it says they're partners, but if you look on the very bottom of the, uh, thing, it's like, Nintendo does not a sponsor, co-sponsor, or administrator of this tournament. But they are a part of it. Of course. Tell me where that makes sense. That seems like borderline illegal. Yeah, because that's, like that's, how, how how can you fucking sponsor a tournament and say, oh, by the way, we're not affiliated with this in any meaningful or like legal way, like, but you're literally sponsoring it, like, what the fuck? Well, that, Why would that, you even put your name there if you weren't fucking a part of it? And like, here's the thing: Nintendo's not helping them with anything. They're not helping with uh, setups. They're not helping out with the no. prize pool. They're not helping with anything. So it's literally, just, just putting their name on there for yeah. the for the fucking for the clout. Yeah. Oh, like no, fine. Nintendo is so like, I love their games. I I love I like their games, but god dang, their company is so dog shit. Their yeah, company yeah. is so fucking ass backwards, dude. Like straight up, because like, I, it's it's. I feel like the main thing is just like, they haven't quite caught up with the times yet. Because no. like a lot of the a lot of the shit with fucking Nintendo is just like, oh yeah, well that shit that would fly like ten years ago. Right. Not today. 
Oh yeah. Like, like was their whole thing on copyright? Like, oh, you, what's that? You fucking uploaded footage of you let's playing Mario to your YouTube t- <laughs> content strike copyright ID. Yeah, like, dude, I like, oh, Jesus. Or, like, or like, remember? oh, what's that? You're reviewing the newest fucking, the newest fucking Legend of Zelda game that came out, and you're using it for like fucking, you're using it for like review purposes, which falls under fair use. Content ID. Get Did the fuck out of here! How dare you fucking post our content online? What the fuck is wrong with you? Did you That's hear about the shit that happened with Hyrule Warriors when it first came out? Oh uh, no, not really. So I was never you know, really interested there's, in Hyrule there's, there's Warriors. There's this thing called time zones, right? So mm-hmm. obviously Australia got the game early, and streamers from Australia were playing it. Nintendo copyright shut down every one of those streams because they didn't understand the concept of time zones. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like I feel like. Nintendo nowadays is still kind of cop is still kind of just entirely staffed by like really old Japanese businessmen yeah. from East. What also that, doesn't what help? I don't quite understand how the modern world works. What doesn't That's help? What I've heard a lot. What doesn't yeah. help is that in Japan there's no fair use. Yeah, their definition of fair use is completely different from ours. And yeah, Solar's right. From what I've heard from anybody who's talked to like the American branch of Nintendo, they've always said it's not us; it's the Japanese, but like old guard who are heads of the company that decide all that shit. So, ah! yeah. Let's all, let's also and, not like, forget. Um, oh, sorry, go on. There was another thing. So back during the pandemic, there was this. I think so, don't we all might be familiar with it. There was a program called Slippy. And what Slippy is, is basically online melee, where you can play online with robot netcode. And there was going to be a big tournament called the Big House, and they were going to stream Slippy on that tournament. Uh, Nintendo copyright struck down that entire event because they said Slippy is a copyright abuse of uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. And, I'm, and everyone's just like, you're copywriting a game that's 20 years old and you never released it anywhere else. Yep. Didn't update the net code either, by the way. It's by the way, it's a game that doesn't have an online component period. So yeah. like maybe yep. maybe like maybe like fucking think about what you're doing here. If I didn't like Oh go ahead, Beth. Sorry. Uh, no, go on. Go on. I was going to say and like uh, go, speaking of Nintendo online services, fucking Arms of all games has rollback netcode, but Smash Brothers doesn't. How are you gonna put rollback netcode on fucking Arms and not on like, quite honestly, probably your biggest potential flagship? I don't know. It blows my mind. Let's also not forget. Like, who that the fuck plays was... Arms nowadays? Let's be honest. I was gonna mention as well that one of the biggest things that I've heard from well, Nintendo was that. Didn't they also kind of go through, like, a period where people thought the company was going to collapse on itself because the Wii U failed miserably? Yeah. So, like, the thing about it is, Nintendo has so much fucking money, they can literally shit themselves for ten years and they still be okay. Yeah, really. Yeah, they're like, they're I, not a danger right even now, if the I'm Wii U, good, but... the Switch, and their next console completely fucking flop, they'd still have money left over. Because I remember so many people saying, the Wii U's bad, the Wii U's bad, the Wii U's bad, even though... My nephews had it, and it wasn't a bad console. But I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I only really got the Wii probably. U like pretty much for Smash, and that was it. And even Dang. then, I kind of realized, uh, like, not exactly worth it. <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly, the problem people had with the Wii U was the fact that one, it was marketed poorly, and two, yep. they didn't really allow anybody to really, I guess, advance with it. Or something like that. I think they just didn't uh, allow it to be open source for anybody to make games for it. It was just strictly for certain publishers, which just kind of fucked over. The it had the co- it had the same problem that like PlayStation typically has, which is it didn't really have a lot of good games or like games that weren't just ports of other games. Yeah, that was basically. I remember that um, Completion has mentioned that there was a lot of shovelware games. Damn it! For it. Like. Because that's, like, that's kind of the thing that's going on with the PS5, is, like, there's not really a lot of games that, like, are flagships for the PS5. There's not, like, a lot of reasons, like, oh, I should get the PS5 so I can play this game. Because, like, a lot of the PS5 games out nowadays are just ports of other games, so it's like, well, why should I fucking upgrade? 
So if I can just play the PS4 version that I already have. Mm hmm Yeah. So, like... And, uh, so, like, with, uh, Smash 4, the problem was, the game was pretty well designed, except for one glaring sexual problem. Uh, Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Let me tell you. That character literally made that game commit suicide as a competitive game. I mean, from what I've heard, Bayonetta was a surprisingly good choice, considering she was a pretty good fighter, but... Also, she was hosted on Nintendo consoles. She was <laughs> she was on the Wii U. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I'm going, I'm going. This like, character she... had it was so consistent, killing at 0%. It was disgusting. I went, I literally went 13 hour drive with me and my friends to go to a tournament just to get zeroed up by Bayonetta. That bitch was awful. I hated that bitch. So oh, I was being so mad. So essentially Bayonetta was overpowered, is what you're trying so, to say. She was, so she the was sexual zero. content that I'm understanding here is that you and your friends were getting fucked by Bayonetta. So, no, no, no. Bayonetta <laughs> I mean, that's not really a bad thing, really, if you think about it. I mean, no, 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 Bayonetta's like, here's the problem. Awesome. Bayonetta literally, like, so before Bayonetta came out, it was such a balanced, like, competitive, like, the best characters at the time were Diddy Kong, Sonic, Mario, Fox, Suit Samus, Fox, and then out of nowhere, Bayonetta came out. And before, like, within the year, it was always in top eight. Five of the eight players were Bayonetta players. I mean, if that you could just figure out how to use Witch Time, that was, like, basically a guaranteed kill. But you didn't have to learn it. You just literally spammed down B and there was no consequences. Ah, uh, so... Oh. It, it was too overpowered and there was just no challenge. Yeah, so, like... Literally, the, the like, so Bayonetta can literally have, like, five different ways to kill you off the top of the map at 0%. She had Witch Time, which no other character really had any counterplay to. There was also the fact that she has ridiculous janked hitboxes. She could spike at, like, fucking 5%. It was just, and she also had her guns, and she can stall out games for time. But, yeah. but She could probably like, stall harder than Sonic. Yeah, she could, actually. And so, like, another thing was... Like, a lot of players that picked up Bayonetta weren't even heard of. Like, they weren't doing good at tournaments. They were going 0-2. They weren't. They were just going last place. But when I pick up Bayonetta, they're being top-level players that play competitively. Like, they do this for money. Like, fucking, there is this one player named Lima. He and Captain Zack, um, literally at EVO, made grand finals. Oh, my God. This made me so angry. Hold on. I got to find this video now. <laughs> you know, you sounded like um, Etika right there. Who? You said that. Fucking Etika? Yeah, he sounded like Etika when he went. When oh, like, fucking... um, he okay. went. Do you okay, know? Nintendo's how... unofficial hype man. Rest in peace, Etika. They don't give it. They, they didn't yes. give a shit about. Yeah. Uh, nope. Ah, damn it. You did. So you did sound a little bit like Desmond when he see it when he said. Do you know how fucking angry that makes me? So, in that on, video... You son of a bitch, lock on. It was... Oh my god, I can't... I, don't... I mean, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at... The... Oh, shit. The this was at a, is big. the biggest tournament. And they did shit like that. Yeah, it got three. so bad. Literally, one of the uh, main people came up there, and they're like, "Hey, you can't stall it." Literally in the TLS. Oh Jesus! Ugh. Damn, what do they have that supply ship loaded with fucking nukes? Your Holy guess shit! Guess is as good as mine. Fuck me. Right, that like explosion radius for about four miles. Holy fuck! Yeah, and like, there was there was a whole bunch of shit that happened recently in Smash Ultimate. I can't say a certain name on Twitch. So I'll break. I'll leave that story after yep, the show. There we go. Okay, I evacuated this time. Bayonetta versus Bayonetta. Oh shit! Was that a hiccup? No. Uh oh. Yes. Finally. Um, I was gonna, I finished this I was gonna ask. Didn't they? Didn't they balance Bayonetta out in in Ultimate? Yeah, she's or... very balanced, but she's also hot garbage in Smash Ultimate. <laughs> so you mean to tell me? They ended up basically, you know, power degrading her, but they made her completely shaped. 
I mean, like, she's okay, but, like, there's so many better characters than Bayonetta in Smash Ultimate. Uh, like, fucking... It's so mind-blowing to say that Steve from Minecraft is the best character in Smash Ultimate. Yo, imagine, imagine fucking Sephiroth coming all the way from Final Fantasy just to get bodied by Steve. Good luck. Oh no, imagine Sora getting body slammed by Steve. Dude, Sora is so dog shit in Smash Ultimate, it breaks my heart. <laughs> Riley in the distance, just gritting his no, teeth. No, I, I, I understand if Riley's upset. I love Sora. I was, um, I was almost in tears when Sora came into Smash, and when I played him, I was like, this character's fucking dog shit. Mm. Oof. I'm you sorry, Riley, but it had to be said. I'm you know just what's... saying we could have had Dante. See, I have to play Devil May Cry. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. If I may, you know it's still stupid. Mm. But that on the Switch they only have Kingdom Hearts through the online service instead of physical. Don't copies. get me started yeah, on like, that. Don't <laughs> get me started on Kingdom. Like I'm not. I haven't even fucking played a single Kingdom Hearts game. But like any game that is exclusively streamed through Nintendo services is is going to be hot fucking garbage because Nintendo has no idea how netcode actually fucking works. They run dial up. Don't you know because that? they're because they're using shit that because again like they're 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 using shit that would have flied like ten years ago but certainly not today. <sighs> oh, yeah, here's no. something really funny. So back in uh, on Splatoon two, by the way, there was a thing. Uh, people were going down mining the game, and there was a soft cheat program that went Splatoon two can recognize if it's running on Windows ninety eight. Really. What? Just Windows 98, nothing else. Yeah, what what kind of what kind of what kind of operating systems are hackers using nowadays? Windows 98? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. right that's, the, that's the only one we need. Fuck everything else. It's so weird how advanced Japan is, but then you look at Nintendo and it's like we're more advanced than Nintendo. Bro, get with the times. The problem is, that's... they're just too comfortable because they could have several consoles fail in the next, like, couple of decades and they would still be doing fine. They're just comfortable. That's it. It's like I mean, there are some things that I do like about it, like, especially considering the fact that they are old-fashioned. Like, when the Wii U flopped, Iwata was just like, okay, I'm not going to lay off any of my staff hmm. because this is kind of this is kind of a problem at the head. So he decided, okay, instead of laying off, like, 800 members of staff, I'm just gonna take a pay cut, because I get, like, what, like, fucking, like, two million dollars a year or some shit like that, mm -hmm. and it's like, fine, it's fine, I can, I can, I'll live, I'm not gonna fucking die if I take a pay cut this year, because the suits made a mistake. Oh, well, that's an F. And I do like that kind of old-fashioned thinking, but, like, no, no. pretty much everything the fuck else is just like, mm. Reminder that you know, Iwata was at Golden Fox Stream. Uh, Reminder man. that Iwata was a great no, 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 no,